Hello, happy Christmas, and welcome to a very special Lear Running Cast uh, that we're sending out on Christmas Day. This is um, footage from the World's Semi-Final, uh, which we've re-edited. I should, before I start, give a uh, thank, uh, thanks to FFG for streaming it. I have used their footage, and I hope it's okay, and I apologize if it's not. Um, but um, I will be having um, prize some commentary on this, as will James, who's joining me. How are you doing, James? Uh, yeah, great. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to say it's going to be a privilege to cast this game. Um, <laughs> yes. It's one of the absolute best best games of Netrunner I think I've ever seen. We yes, were going wild, I agree, I agree. Wild in Joey's flat. So, okay, let's give you some context. So this is the, uh, this is a Worlds. So this is the very, very top of uh, Netrunner in the world. And this is the top three game. So this is the game between Dave Hoyland and Timmy Wong for the right to play Dan Dargenio in the final. Um, this was broadcast live um, on the internet across the world, and we had a viewing party. We were at Joey's. Yeah, luckily they we were broadcast it. this instead of yeah. continuing with Imperial Assault. <laughs> well, it's not. It's, no, let's no, not get into that. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> we got what we got, and we got a lot of. Uh, we did get to see a lot of their runner actually, um, and we got to see this, and it was a really good game. So um, let's talk a little bit about these two. So now I don't know much about Timmy Wong. I, I know a little bit. I, I've got a lot of He's time good. for Timmy. I've never yeah. met the man. But I've, I watched him play Worlds last year and where he played a blue sun deck which was kind of anti anti meta so what, what was being played yeah. a lot last year. And he certainly and seems like an well. incredibly nice right. guy yeah. and he builds really interesting nice decks. He definitely does. Uh, we, we both know a little bit about Dave. Now... I've, I, I've had the pleasure to be crushed <laughs> by Dave multiple times. We should um, now. We're 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 professional. We'll attempt to remain neutral, but we're both going to strongly support Dave in this game. <laughs> I think uh, it's it, fair it's to a, say it's a hard decision because I think Timmy's deck building is so cool. Yeah, but yeah, uh, we are both from the UK. We're both we're both pro UK, and um, so, yeah. the we, whole UK team had a very good representation of Wales. They, World, they did amazingly, and yeah. well done to all those guys that turned yeah. up and they represented the UK fantastically. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about the game then. So, um, Dave has, he's asked both centrals and he started creating um, a remote. He's using ETF, which means he gets a credit for each install. It's just a great ID. Um, Timmy's piloting Wizard, which I think was pretty unusual on the day, at, uh, you know, in the world's meta. There were a few, but... Timmy, Timmy goes his own way with the kind yeah. of deck choices he makes, and I think that he's got a lot of confidence in his own decision-making for what he thinks is good and what he thinks is... Um, an answer to some of the problems that the current meta game is throwing at him. How would you think? Uh, as so, if you were Dave here, how would you feel sitting across from Wizard? Do, do you change your play? I mean, it means cards like Ash go away on access. Like, there's not really any. It, it means that you can't rely on a, a plan of taxing the runner by forcing them to trash things like Adonis campaign and Eve. That's true. Yes, and that economy won't be around forever. Uh, yeah, it, and that it will kind be of, trashed. The kind of the swinging credits that you gain if they choose to trash that is nowhere near as high. Yes, that's true. That's a good point. And maybe that's one of the benefits of playing someone like Wizard. You can pressure I think, I think asset it is, economies. It is, the best, yeah. it is the benefit of playing Wizard. And asset economy is something that both the kind of food coats, as it's called, uh, Engineering the Future builds, and also things like NEH, they both revolve a little bit yeah. around that. So it's a good uh, meta choice. Um, meanwhile, uh, let's see. So we've seen um, an imp, and Timmy's had a couple of uh, pokes at HQ. He's, um, we know we saw an itchy. Um, and he's installed a David and running this remote so um, now Dave's having a good thing about resing here. Dave's not got a huge amount of money and I think his ice suite is quite expensive overall. Yeah so it's um, it's quite uh, yeah I don't know I mean if he's going to you get the impression that whatever's installed is strength 5 or higher because he's really struggling to think about raising it and indeed it's an Adonis which just goes away so it's a bit of a shame for Dave that he couldn't keep it on the table but maybe it's not I mean he didn't spend anything on resing he's he's, he's, cost he's not up or down click, really but he yeah. lost, lost click of his own I guess so yeah um, okay so um, to me playing I've had worse to get some more cards I mean, so he hasn't he hasn't given cards. away any critical information on the ice there so he's given up the Adonis for, for maintaining the secrecy of what's in the remote hmm. or yeah, what's protecting true. the remote I should say so, um, let's see what Dave does here. So he's faced uh, with a David. So, so I think Dave was running three copies of Turing as well as three assassins in this deck. So maybe it's Turing on the remote, and he um, it might be. In which case, that's not a good trade. He definitely David counter. For, he, he definitely has assassin, credits, and assassin is a good piece of ice. I, I really like assassin. For sure. Um, it you know strength. So many good uh, cards. It copies. It costs a couple of David counters. 
and it's neutral as well. So he installs over a piece of ice there? So he so installed on a, on the remote, yeah, and he installs behind it, um, taking credit. So um, I wonder if... No, I, I don't think David would be so bold to make this an agenda, but it, it wouldn't be surprised to see if it's an Adonis or another Eve. Breaker Bay, maybe. Uh, he was playing Breaker Bay on the day. I think it's good in HB. Yeah, um, with the asset economy. Yeah. I agree. And Ash and Caprice and things like that. Yeah, that's true. Not sure if he was playing Cyberdex Virus Suite, but it's often useful for resing that for free as well. So let's see. So Tim's going to check R&D. Uh, so he's an assassin. Okay, so he can break it with David. It's two counters if he wants to do that. Um, I Dave, s- Dave, Dave Holland's probably okay with that, right? Yeah. Because he can't get through it again. So if you had an assassin on the remote and on R&D, I think Dave makes the right decision. He can only afford to res one, and not resing anything on the remote means that he can res it on R&D. I think that's where you want it for the long term. You know, yeah. uh, there's, There was a risk, and maybe this is what he had in mind, if he resed anything meaningful on the remote, he wouldn't have been able to defend R&D, um, and a player like Timmy would capitalise on that. Um, it's very much a strategy to run where you don't intend to pressure, if that makes sense, well, to it force makes, it, makes Timmy, it kind of forces Timmy to use this uh, David or lose both So, both yeah, it does, it does. Right? So he, just, used, just one he loses one and three net damage. Well. They're traces. He could have contended one of the traces, probably, but yes. Um, but at so that point, you're okay because he's just spending money, he's right? spending money, so, yeah. So he's uh, he's used the counters and he imps the hedge fund and run on uh, the remotes. He's an architect, which he's not equipped to deal with. So let's see. So Dave's going to get... A, so architect fires a... Often very, so this very is relevant. Strong. So uh, the cards he sees when the architect fires are in order: Breaker Bay Grid, Adonis Campaign, and Ash Global Food Initiative and Project Vitruvius. So we've got two agendas at the bottom of that, um, and he's going to install one of these cards now. So he's the, got the Breaker problem for Bay. Dave right now is he has no money, so he can't yes. he can't put the Ash in and then hope to acquire enough money to kind of score out one of those agendas if he'd have been in a stronger financial position that yeah, would have been yeah. a, a nice play and that's exactly what he did because he had no money he installed the breaker bay from the top of R&D and used the second sub on the architect to inst- reinstall an Adonis from Archives which I think so I like strong. a lot yeah, that was strong, very yeah. strong. I mean we're um, seeing why architect is such a brilliant piece of ice right there yeah uh, so meanwhile uh, the run continues and Timmy's going to access an Eve campaign in the remote now uh, he can we- trash it for two he can trash it for, credits, yeah he can trash it for two Dave with wizard it, so. Dave can't res it he might be tempted to leave it there and while it's there Dave's not scoring agendas as well so exactly. um, so it gives Timmy a bit of time yeah, to work he on does his trash own it board. anyway you can make a lot of money out of an Eve, so you never know. He could install a, a he, breaker bay. At the moment, he doesn't have a. He's got a mimic in hand, but he doesn't really have another easy way through into that remote. Yeah, so um, he has two clicks remaining, um, having run R and D and then a remote. Uh, so he's going to draw. I, th- I think the assassin is a very relevant piece of ice right now because a lot of people are playing mimic. Um, yes, and it's strong. It's and mimic. It's, it's yeah. much much stronger than a lot of the sentries that people are used to being. Yeah, uh, there's a faced, faced with it. There's moment. not a lot of high strength sentries, so often mimic is good enough. But a card like a assassin will really shake I mean, that up. D- Dave, kind of maybe not notorious, but I, I've certainly seen him play Grim in a lot of decks. And I think that, that assassin, reason, assassin's yeah. a straight upgrade to that for him. Yeah, because it's not uh, illicit. Doesn't give him any bad pub. Has two subroutines. Is it a one? Yeah. A little bit more yeah. expensive to res, but. It is, yeah. So, um, good play here. Use the Breaker Bay to res the Adonis, uh, which means he's, the money's come straight back anyway from zero to four right there. So, um, you know, he's making money. Uh, and, and he stalls to defend it and he stalls back in this remote. So, he drew... Um, now, he drew the Adonis from the top of uh, R&D. That term was managed to draw. He knows, though, because of that architect, he knows that... Uh, we've got an Ash and then two agendas on R&D, so he needs to be careful. But but Timmy's an exceptionally good player as well, so he knows that Dave knows what that is. So if 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 Dave had drawn through it, then... Um, he might have had a good idea, that's right. Yeah. And, and Dave's just playing it very cool. He he knows what he knows. He's not in a position to defend R&D, and though, if it comes HQ under attack. Is, it's not porous, but it's not sealed off either. So it's, if he'd drawn that's into it. the agenda, Timmy might have had a punt through the Eli. But it's fair. I mean, he's only got one David counter, so it's... Behind that assassin, it's fairly strong. I mean, exactly. I don't think Timmy's going to run. run you could, I mean, it you could time. you could run and break the net trace, maybe, and then let him trash one of your two useless programs. I mean, yeah, that's, I don't that know. seems pretty strong, right? But then you, you get one access, you know, and going again is dangerous. Well, so, but that's it. You, Dave, you hasn't, that Dave hasn't given any information it, away, yeah. um, which I think is one of the many reasons he's an exceptionally strong player. Uh, so Timmy's going to pressure this Res Adonis, which I think is a great decision because it's. Um, it's, it's a way that Dave's going to get back in this game. He's, he had to fight back to get above zero, so trashing it now, uh, and he reses an Itchy on it. Now, um, Itchy's 
it's strength not, four, so you can't use David. Right now, yeah. yeah, he's going to click through two. We're going to see a trace. Uh, Dave, with no money, declines to increase, so he, he can he pay gone, one. Has he got an imp counter, or is he? Uh, I think he used. Um, I think he used an imp on one and trashed the other with a wizard. Yeah, um, I'm not not sure. I mean, maybe I would just lose the programs there. Um. So he's going to install a clone ship and has lost clicks. So let's see. Uh, now Dave's drawn the ash. So he knows there are two agendas on the top of R and D. But again, he's not in a financial position to use. Ash he's not. In any, he's not any real relevant way. So he puts the he puts the ash in that remote. Um, I guess he can use it for scoring if he needs it's, to. In the it's future, a classic kind of situation where you're you're getting a credit for installing it out of what might be the strongest yeah. corp idea in the game in terms of economy. Yes. Bit um, in this and Timmy might check again. He has, That's he it. You check, can cost right? him he three now clicks, has the, He guess. has the three credits now, which means that it could he could score an ABT. He could threaten that, at least. Yeah. Uh, you could cost... Um, yeah, you can cost him three clicks to check. Uh, he doesn't have a way to break that remote. Um, although, having said that, he's got a... Clone ship and an app man and a stim hack in yeah. hand. So uh, <laughs> that is a good hand. Now this th um, this uh, Atman four I think is a genuine breaker in this deck because he has at the Anarch breakers and David and I think the stim hack is basically designed to install Atman at four. <laughs> um, it's, it's an amazing stim hack's an amazing card and Atman has always been a yeah. good solution to Anarchs that have sometimes had problems in certain certain ranges of values. Yeah, so he's having a good think about it. Hmm. As we see the crowd watching, and Lucas Litzinger himself, uh, we love you, judging Lucas. the game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he looks quite bored actually. He's telling oh, Tim, no, he's, he's, he looks pensive. He's telling, telling Tim to hurry up because he's playing quite slow. I mean, you know, it's quite a big game. <laughs> I assume this was timed. Uh, it was a timed game. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. So uh, let's see what's going to happen. He's definitely thinking about that stim hack. He's clutching it. Presumably he's got now, but does he play it on the itchy? Maybe he plays it on the other. He has a mimic as well. Um, he doesn't have any data sucker tokens though. Is the problem? Uh, but he has mimic for the architect. I mean, sorry. He yeah. could, so he could run that sure. remote. So he's going to install a clone ship on one. Hmm. Let me think. Okay. Yeah, he's going to stim out the remote. Okay. So he's going to stim back and use a clone ship to install. Atman at four. Yep. Yeah. Which will break the itchy. Okay, so for three credits. Uh, and that's a good long-term investment because that means that he can get into that remote very cheaply whenever he wants. Yeah. So It goes uh, through the Eli as well. It's yeah, worth, that's worth true. Yes, it goes through the Eli as well, yes. And with a data sucker, which I was, he may not have data suckers actually. I think he didn't. I think it was a famous really? thing he didn't have in his I, deck. That's crazy. Uh, that's, that's levels but, that I would never have thought but of. If, but if I've totally misremembered that and he does have one, it will get through I, Assassin as well. Yeah, I so. think uh, if you're running Atman and some... Some I, no, I, I, I think so I agree I agree conventional wisdom sucker. would say that I have a yeah. feeling he didn't have that sucker but I, know I could be really, totally wrong really interesting okay so he trashed the ash uh, takes brain damage losing uh, mimic so this is actually relevant the other card he had in his hand so was... I think that's maybe why he, he installed the clone chip first do you want to lose it yeah, that's yeah. well and it the clone means chip that if he loses the mimic it's not the end of the world right so the, so the other card in his hand was knife had worse uh which doesn't, doesn't, fire, doesn't fire on brain damage so yeah so he actually plays it to draw cards um so it allows him to bounce back quite quickly, which is obviously beneficial. But uh, Dave, Dave continuing to tax Timmy out in terms of yeah. uh, kind yeah. of credits. Keeping him very, time, very poor. Time. So we're going to see a two turntables. Oh, no, sorry, a turntable and two injects, I should say, on that. Well, uh, the only thing that's getting installed yeah, there is a turntable. The turntable is turn turn quite interesting. If you think you're about to access an agenda, I've been out, it's good against uh, GFI. <laughs> it's, just, it's a card that's very, very strong. I mean, it's not... It's more relevant against this kind of HP deck than it used to be because of Global Food Initiative. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, it's better against it's, it's the very NBNs strong against and RPs. NBN and RP, yeah. Right. Yeah. It's very strong it's against. A, it's a card those. that's time has definitely come. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's decent. It's not expensive. Not particularly expensive to install. Okay. All right. So um, just continue to draw. Obviously, he let his hand go quite low, so he needs he needs the options. Um, he's. I mean, do you ever think about this remote? We're getting. Uh, oh, in fact, we we skipped over one of the most important plays. Did we? Yes. Oh yes. They've the drew global, the yeah, GFI. The global, sorry, yeah, we forgot to we say. Have been mentioned you, right. The so global the, food initiative is in the remote. So Dave drew the global food initiative. It's in the and itchy remote. Is that nonchalantly right? put it yeah. behind the itchy, which is an absolutely amazing play because there's no. Uh, I mean, Timmy can get in so cheaply. 
But exactly. He, but, he but, knows but it. He knows Dave knows, knows it. Can, yeah. Everyone knows he can get it cheaply. So Dave's, Dave, you know, I'll just put this here. No big. You know, expecting that Dave, Timmy Dave, will just give Dave up. Dave Hoyland is an in, as intimidating a presence to face across the net on the table as I've come across. Yeah, he he, he has a nickname, a, you know, like a friendly nickname of the Dark Lord in the Cheltenham and Gloucester <laughs> kind of circle of Netrunner players. And he, he kind of just has this aura which saps the life yeah, from he's you. A strong player, it makes yeah, you question is. your decisions. It makes you... But, it's terrifying to play against. But it. it's but it's in a nice way. It's but but yeah. yeah, that's it. I mean, there are play there are players that are terrifying to play against. But he's also one of the nicest people you can meet. Like when you're not Absolutely. playing against him, he's but he he fun. is he always comes to play. Definitely. Like he, he, yeah, just just so, a, just um, a monster of a person in the UK netrunner community. So strong. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Dave drew the Vitruvius, the last card they saw with Architects, and put it straight in this remote, trashing what was presumably an Adonis, I think, already in there. So yeah. it's now next to an Ash, and he's put it in. Timmy kind of has to go after it, because he, he much more than the GFI, the Bind of the Itchy, he must expect this to be an agenda. Yeah, I mean... I mean, and Dave why, definitely why would score you put it. an agenda in the itch? Why would you? Server, it must you've be got, you've got the architect. It must server. be a breaker bay or something that you're going to put an Adonis on later. Or, just, or, I mean, or, whatever. or you're just. I mean, Dave kind of has already spent a few turns putting. He put three cards in, in the remote. remote. That's to it. Make, to make and, Timmy run it, and, and Timmy's, Timmy's given up. Now you know he's Timmy's getting into a situation where Dave is kind of forcing work compression on him in terms of. The amount of things that he needs to do. He needs to draw up cards in his hand. He needs to install stuff. He needs to check what Dave's got in the remote. He needs to keep his economy ticking over. Yeah, that's right. Um, you can't always afford to check everything, especially yeah. when it's behind a niche. And if it's... Yeah, that's right. I mean, you can get him for three credits, but, you know, if there's an... Uh, if it's an Adonis or something, then, you know, eventually it will get raised and then he can trash it before yeah, it pays out too exactly. much. Yeah. Deal with it. Deal with that later. Worry about the remote, which almost certainly has an gender in it. Yes, that's it. Yeah. So we're going to see an assassin, okay, which is going to pay a lot of money. Oof. Okay, so he's going to pay seven so what, credits. What is Timmy's solution to this? Because he has no data suckers. He can he, break one subroutine. So he could break one and yeah, try and beat a trace. Is that uh, Dave's, only, Dave's only got two credits. Yeah. So you could break the trash. You could even take three net damage. He's got. Yeah, I mean, yeah. maybe maybe you take the net damage. It depends whether the cards. I, are... I think you take the net damage over the program trash. Because you'd you probably don't, you don't want to lose this admin yeah. or the mimic. Well, so that yeah, that's it. And Dave would choose one of them. It would be interesting to know which he choose. Because if he chooses the admin, does that give away what might be in the remote? Maybe. I think you. I think you maybe choose the admin um, just because. At any rate, I think it's more expensive to reinstall. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think at any rate, Timmy won't give him the opportunity to choose. I feel like that David counter is going to be spent on the program trash. It'd be interesting to see if he uh, tries to some contend good, the trace. Some good cards there. Um, so he does indeed use it, and he does start to take three net damage. Net. Okay, all right. So he's going to lose a bunch of cards. He did not hit. I've had worse. Uh, so I think the only them. card left in Timmy's hand is the test run, which is an interesting card. In so our, with the last two credits cool. that he had, uh, Dave could you know, raise the ash. Uh, there's no boost to trace. Yeah, he's so out of money. He's left too poor to score, but at yeah. the same time... Um, so now... Now, Timmy can beat the trace. He has four he credits. He can beat the trace, and he can also trash the ash with his wizard money. But not by. Oh, sorry. Yes, he can do both because a wizard. Um, he may be wondering if there's any chance that's an NPD or he's been baited into some well, kind of trap. Well, he checks. He's yeah. disciplined. He get. He cleans out the entire remote. Yeah, he beats and that's a good turn for Timmy. He beats trace and takes the remote and wizards free money to trash an ash. Why not? So, um, yeah, that was a good turn. And he got the agenda and takes the. So lead. you're seeing the strength of the ID now. Yeah. Um, Dave. No big. It's still straight back into that remote well, and, and takes some credit. This is what you have to do. Like he's now back up to three. He can yeah. threaten another score. Tim's got no money, so exactly. he's going to really struggle to pressure it and check again. So this is Vapo, one of the UK net runner players that's also very strong, has a saying that end the run ice is a crutch. We're seeing an, a, a non-traditional kind of remote here. Of no, there's no end the run on the remote. Yeah, nothing actually. Yeah, yeah. You're but right. every time that Timmy you chooses to run it, it's incredibly taxing just for him. Make the runner not want to so run. So <laughs> Dave's playing a kind of classic, never advanced style of play where he just he just puts stuff in the remote all the time, forces you to think yep. about whether you have to get in and steal or deal with it. And cars like Ash pay into that because you know yeah. it, it's it's a real struggle to uh, run twice if you can afford to run. We can run once. That's not good enough. So yeah, Vapo, you're, you're quite correct in this. That Enderon <laughs> can sometimes be a crutch. This remote is strong enough without a single Enderon subroutine on it. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen here. Now, don't forget that GFI is still in that remote. 
We were we were so tearing our hair out. I know on the sofa in Joey's house. Okay, so we're gonna get another install. So um, Dave, cold as ice. Look at this. He's just yeah. He's, but the thing is, now that nothing's happening with that remote. Timmy's not going to think about it. So no, Dave just has it. to it's ride it out. Window, he can leave it. He can leave yeah. three points on the table probably for the whole game now and well, it's, not worry it's about it. Well, it's the safest place. If, <laughs> yeah, that's if, it. Yeah. If Timmy's not going to run it, it's safer than anywhere else. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So meanwhile, um, Timmy's very low on money, so he's going to have to try and bounce back. We see Liberated. It's a shame that he can't quite get up to it. So he checks gonna the check open the new remote. remote. Mr. Jackson that gets used. Yep, so let's see what Dave puts back through. Yeah. It's going to be an Ash, I think. I think. I think Ash is a good... Shout. Uh, so hedge, hedge, funds, fund, hedge fund. Two hedge. And an ash. I can tell you it is an ash. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that ash. yeah, that makes go. sense. So yeah, Dave's just right. looking to solidify his economy. Um, yeah, he in... gives him another thing to install in the remote that Timmy might have to check. Yeah. That's it. And I mean, ash is... And obviously it's a good, it pays into it's a good win condition. Hmm. If yeah. he's richer, which now at the moment he is. Uh, okay, and uh, Timmy just takes two credits. I think Timmy's looking to get that liberated accounts installed next turn and I think it will solidify so, yeah. his own side of the yeah, economic agree. battle. Because that will set him up for a, a while. Yeah, I mean, it's a, the, the initial hurdle to install it is quite taxing, but after that, it's an extremely efficient economy source. Okay, so let's see. So Dave's going to draw and install straight in the remote, of course. Classic HB play And take here. two credits, okay. Yeah, so, so three credits for doing what you want to do anyway, which is potentially install a, so an agenda or a... So and they have a bit of a laugh about yeah. this. So there's a card in that remote. Uh, there's two cards in that remote, I should say. So um, let's assume that at least so one of them's got to be an upgrade. Let's. I guess we've got an Ash and an Agenda or a Caprice, maybe. Do you, Could be another Breaker Baker, for example. So you mentioned that Timmy's probably setting up to play Liberated Accounts this turn. That's going to take three clicks at least to do that, to click for two credits and then play. That means he's basically giving up on this remote. Is that dangerous? And in fact, that's what he does. Um, I mean, I'm not sure that I would have the balls to trigger an accelerated beta test at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, Timmy might think that that's a Jackson in the in the remote that we actually know as a global food. Yeah, that's right. He might think it's another Jackson. Um, but or I think Timmy, Timmy needed to get his economy. or another Ash or anything. He needed you know. to get his economy stabilised, and he's he's going to have to let one potentially slip through the net here. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's true. It yeah. could even be a Caprice, you know, uh, in that remote. It could so. just be another... It could be an Eve campaign, right? It's so let's see. So Dave draws, he's going to have to think, and he's going to advance three times and score. And so will he fire it? Test. Will he fire it? No. no so we, we were having, we, I mean, we were having a discussion about whether that signaled that that wasn't a Jackson behind. I, yes, the, I think it does a little bit behind the. Um, um, so itchy. Should Timmy now be thinking? Oh, it's not Jackson. Is the list I mean, of things it the thing could is, be? It's is... so risky to fire an accelerated beta test yeah. at this point. I don't in, think it needs in one to. of the most important games of your netrunner career. I, I, don't, I don't think he needs to anyway. He's he's got he doesn't, decent ice. Yeah. He, at the same time. Yeah. Having said that, he could have iced R and D. <laughs> okay. So um, now Parasite is going to bring Assassin into uh, first of all Atman and then exactly. Mimic range, um, and then it'll bring turn. it out of Atman range. Well, into, 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 into Mimic, mimic range, range, right? Sorry, so yeah. if you can bring it down to four, it'll be for both. So what you're saying is his solution to strength five ice is a strength Par four Atman and the Parasite, Parasite and wait a turn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fair enough. <laughs> Yeah. And it's a viable solution because even if they purge, it gets a counter on it at the start of your turn, so it's always going to be within yeah, Atman true. 4. Right? Now Dave's going to possibly, dangerously, ignore that and install that remote. He might feel he's on a roll now if he's um, installing stuff. Let's see if he... So Timmy has no data sucker out on the board at the moment. You, you're not sure whether he has any in the deck. So Dave's, um, got... So Dave's got some time Dave's before gone... he has to worry about. Yeah. He had an Eli. That's not, that's not great against Atman, though, is it? Uh, no. I'm at four. I mean, do you even install it? Maybe. Um, Maybe. It's still two credits. It's three um, to raise and two to break, though. So yeah. You, you don't have to, in in the HB at this point. You don't have to pay to install it over R and D because um, yeah, it's free to you're install. You're getting the free credit, That's so true. it's it's probably okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay, so uh, let's see. Now that that um, assassin is strength four, I wouldn't be surprised to see some pressure on R and D. In fact, it looks like Timmy's got a mimic. Uh, sorry, a medium in hand. So, so this um, is a good a good turn for Timmy if he liberated. drops the medium and cleans up some credits. So from yeah, account. he's going to use liberate to get up to ten. Oh, turntable comes in off the street peddler for just a credit. Uh, so Timmy's quite confident about hitting some agendas. So here comes medium. Okay, uh, but the ones that on... the ones that he might steal are. He's never going to want to trade them back to Dave, right? Um, 
Yes, you're right. If he steals the global food, he doesn't yeah. want to trade it to Dave. No, no. But if Dave scores a GFI, yeah, I, yeah, I, I'd go work the other way. I'm not sure the turntable was absolutely necessary at this point, but... No. So okay, so he steals a Vitruvius, another Vitruvius and an MPD, which he cannot steal. Oh, oh no. Okay, so he gets four points, but yep. there's an NPD on there. Unlike the game we come to a minute ago yeah. Timmy able to access the NPD not be able to steal it but keep a totally straight face <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's diff- it can be difficult I so many of it's my opponents uh, lack the poker face yes um, to do sometimes that. You, you just you really know. need to yeah. Yeah. You, <laughs> sometimes you, need you just to keep know it, keep it so wow. Dave, uh, Resident Adonis in what keep is ostensibly a scoring remote and draws an NPD he's going to keep drawing uh, possibly to pad out HQ a little bit uh, now that he knows he's got an agenda yeah, he wants to do something. Okay, so he installs a uh, piece of ice there for net zero uh, against credit. So, uh, as you say, the assassin no longer in Atman range, but is in mimic range, which functionally the same. Yep. So he can still break it for two. Uh, he does only have two credits. He's not rich. The um, liberated account ran out. So he's kind of back uh, to uh, floating a pretty low economy. He doesn't have a stim hack in hand. Not an R&D, I think. Uh, maybe the medium is going to get three accesses. The problem is, if that's a code gate, you just can't get in, right? If it's like a toll booth or something. I don't I don't think Dave was running any toll booths in this deck, which is scary for me. But I guess he's, he's using Assassin in that kind of range of... Am I going crazy? Why does the medium have two counters on it? He's only run R&D once, right? Oh, I'm sorry. No, he did run twice. I apologise. He yes. did two separate runs. He saw that. Yes, okay. So, so the, the I thought it was cheating. Fir- no, no, no. So <laughs> no. The, fir- the first run he saw. He the... saw an imp to hedge fund, yeah, and then ran yeah. again. Yeah. That's right. You're right. Okay. So um, Adonis pays out. The daily cast, though, uh, that Timmy installed will help him to bounce back a little bit. Um, D- Dave's economy is solidified a bit here. Yeah, um, it is. Uh, he plays another hedge fund. You know, Timmy gave up on Udonis a little bit, and then he's was able so to da- go back. Dave's board is okay now. He's yeah. he's in a decent position, and he keeps just installing cards. And yeah. if you're going to get paid money to install cards, then that's good. Well, that's if a you're good. That's a good cards, idea. You might yeah. as well get paid money for yeah. doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, there's still a GFR on the table, so that's yeah. is that. I mean, that's that's worrying, <laughs> right? I, it's been left so long now. It's Kind of, yeah, I think so. I mean, safe. they will obviously have it in mind, and it's to me, to me, it's more, more likely to check this new remote than he is to check the one behind me. Uh, meanwhile, the assassin is down to strength two. Um, Dave's gonna have to purge in the next couple of turns, right? I mean, yeah, you don't want to lose the assassin altogether, it's quite an investment. Um, it's, it's probably not something you want to lose, but yeah. at the same time, he's always gonna have the ability to break it, yeah. So it depends whether you've got more ice. That's true, it's you've not... got enough money to res another piece of ice, but yeah, that is true. It's not very taxing, no, it's um, not taxing at the moment. So, uh, it's run on HQ through um, oh, and he pulled the NFT, so he steals the NFT through the Eli. Okay, so he's got it, so he's up to uh, six points now, which we potentially believe is the only one in the deck. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, and he checks the last remote. Uh, still not checking behind. Still not checking behind the issue, James. <sighs> but he does check the uh, end and not res it. Uh, sorry, not trash it. Because um, he had no money. Yeah. So Dave will res it and get so a little this, bit more money ticking. Yeah, Dave, Dave's got his. He's finally got his economy sorted out. He's been fighting he against purge. the tide for a while. And yeah, if you're going to get paid drip economy to yeah, purge, that's you're it. okay. Only he's. He's getting five credits turn, so he's very, very low at the moment. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He's, he's got a he's there. got a good situation in terms of breakers. So Timmy's cheating because he has six cards. In, uh, sorry, five cards in hand. Yep. So uh, Dave throws his hands up as we see uh, Stephen, Stephen Willie. Stephen Willie and uh, we love you, Stephen. Oh, we love Team Mark. Covenant videos. But, yeah, yeah. Um, Stephen head blown about the fact that there's still a global food initiative he, in the in was, the remote. He was a bit. They were both a bit of a mess during this game. Yeah. As, as were we. we as were, everyone we were, watching. We were, Oof. Joey was rolling okay. on the floor, pulling his hair out. It was, we were kind of throwing our hands in the air. Yeah. Obviously cheering on Dave. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, yes. sorry, Timmy. We love your decks, but we had to support Dave. Yeah, Team UK. Um, yeah, and uh, from what I recall, the, um, the chat as well was blowing up. Yeah, the, um, well. the Twitch it's chat. Good. Yeah, it's, it was good to be part of, actually. I, uh, it's a pleasure to be part of the Netrunner Twitch community because yeah. having been in the past a Dota player, the Twitch for that is just not <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so what does Timmy need to do here? Uh, get money. 
Okay. I think is the he needs. To, he needs to. I mean, there's no pressure he, of a he, score. He can threaten pretty much everywhere yeah. across the board at the moment. So he just needs more money. Um, and probably a solution to a decoder. I guess some sort of decoder in case there's a code gate somewhere. Which I think Dave Dave was running three Turing. So. Yeah. Yes, that's true. And uh, he's, if there are Turings around, he's going to struggle. I mean, uh, I'm not sure. He doesn't have the ability to break a barrier other than an Eli right now. No, but... that's true. So even like a wraparound or something. Yeah. Oh, so we're getting a still double advance in that remote. Now that is a red flag because it's game point as far as Timmy's concerned. If he can get in and there's yep. no end to run on that server. But Timmy is poor and Dave is very rich. Poor. And we're going to assume... It's probably an Ash. We're assuming an Ash. If it's a Caprice, he might, might, take, he might take the punt though, right? I mean... Maybe. You can... Um, he can't. He can't currently break the assassin. No, on that remote, that's so. true. He can't break the assassin. He does if have it, a David a... in hand. <laughs> yeah, and could drop David and run. He Dangerous. Might do. He uh, might yeah, he might. might. I mean, he might. Yeah, he's got a stim hack too, Bold, right? Anyway. So he he's got the ability to get in there. Stim hack and stim hack could help him contend an ash, but not Caprice. Yeah. Um, well, actually, no. If he uses, if he installs David, he might need the extra money. Yeah. He'd only have one card left in hand, which he'd lose, so he needs to be careful. Okay, he's gonna have yeah, a but good if it's thing. game, Johnny, then... Oh, well, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much brain damage so you take if he wins. he installs the David. So he does install the David, he's going to trash the imp, which is blank. That's, um, that's fine. He actually didn't need... Oh, there's Parasite, apologise. So he did yeah. need to. Timmy, disciplined, yeah. knowing, knowing his memory situation. Never forget Parasite. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to run. So. Just a straightforward run. Uh, he's going to break the Architect. And we're going to so see he finds out it's the Caprice. Okay. So this uh, is dangerous, though. Um, he's going to use the David. David, not Ammon. Come on. Come on, Timmy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> use David to you break. I don't want to spend those five hard <laughs> earned Ammon, Ammon power counters. And we're going to have a side game for what is probably a game, unless it's an NAPD. Quite a bluff if it is. Dave is a. You know, Dave's played a, good a lot moment. of side games. So, Timmy, so Lucas Litzinger is sat right there, and Timmy says, Lucas, why did you play this card? Why did you print this card? Yeah. <laughs> a, a, question, a, a, question, <laughs> a question many of us would like to know the answer to. And all to. we can do is look abashed. But yes. it's leading to pressure at a prestigious tournament, so it does its job. I hate that Having card. said that, having said there's pressure, Dave's not looking pressured. Look at him. He's Dave never carved out pressured. stone. Dave okay, all right. Monster. This is a big side game. Both sides are going to have like, think, a good long thing. Dave about is this no one. stranger to side games. He played RP for the entirety of last right. tournament. So season. it's two to zero. Okay, so it, Dave did win. He pulled it out. Well, so Dave Dave knows that Timmy, if he wants to get back in, will need the credits to get through the architect. Yeah, so. he can't easily get in another time. Well, the assassin is going to fire. Something's going to fire on the yeah. assassin, right? Um, so and he, Timmy's already taken a brain damage and only has two cards in hand. So he could Simhack and lose the corroder. Uh, he, yeah, uh, but he'd lose another program as well, wouldn't he? Uh, yes, yeah, so he'd lose the. He won't. Yeah, he'll Stimhack lose the corridor to brain damage and he'll lose a program because he can't take the three net damage sub. Yeah, that's true. He can't take net damage sub. Oh, they have, he'd have money for. No, you don't want to let the trace right. happen. No, no, no. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, there. Okay, so he does Stimhack the remote. Um, so he's going to break the net, yep. as you say, and he's going to let the trace fire for the. The program so, trash. So what's Dave choosing here? Now, I don't. I'm not. I don't think I'm actually sure what happened. I think. I think that they just accepted that he was going to win the trace. I don't think Dave boosted it, which is interesting. You might think he'd try and force I, through a program trash. Yeah, maybe um, I, maybe I might have done yeah. that. But Timmy's just trying to take another side game. It's, it's, it's got to be game, right? Luke, so Luke he might as well. Sitting with a slight, slight smirk on his face. Dave not shaking at all. And zero so as caught. Cold. Zero to win. Yeah. Oh, that's why we love you, Dave. Okay, so... Oh, uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he actually spent his money, though, so Luke's let him take it back. Um, so he did pay zero. Uh, takes the brain damage which and takes the corroder. The corroder. Uh, so Timmy's left with nothing here. He has no yeah. credits. Basically, he has no cards in hand. And Dave's going to score this, which I, I mean, I assume it's GFI. Let's see. Feels like it must be. It must be. It is okay. Which means there's game on the table, James. It's on the table. Oh, okay. That's fine. I'm staying calm. <laughs> controlled okay we, so we were, uh, we were going <laughs> that's it so uh two daily casts pay out uh timmy becoming quite the uh, internet sensation in the fictional world of netrunner so he has no cards though so he's probably going to spend 10 drawing up right i mean 
he could run, but that's dangerous. I think he has to. I mean, he's he's got the parasite ticking up, which I'm not sure if they remembered or forgot the parasite counter last turn. Yeah, so they did um, forget. I think they remembered last turn, but I forgot this turn. Um, yeah, so I think it yeah. should have one more on it than it does right now. Yeah. Lucas potentially should have reminded them really there, but I'm sure he was lost in the thrill of the side game battle as the rest of us were. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, I'm sorry. I think it did fire this turn. Oh, I think I think next turn it might be. Is it? Okay. Uh, or soon, yeah. We'll um, see. It, I feel like it should have yeah, one more at some point, there, but I remember sure. at some point it gets it definitely gets forgotten. I think we're okay at the moment. Uh, so at any rate, um, it's strength two currently, which means that um, Timmy can obviously break it. He does have six credits. We don't know what this outside ice is. It's dangerous. Yeah. I mean, if it's a Turing, then... You're struggling to get yeah, him. You've done. not got any medium counters right now. No, uh, because there was a purge obviously a few turns ago. So it, it feels like this is a turn to draw some options. Or I think try you just as far as far as he's concerned, there's no pressure on a score. But yeah. now we know differently. <laughs> but there's oh, no pressure on score. They can't score that out blind. No, he right? can't. He can to... you imagine if it had been an ABT or something? Yeah. Can you imagine? And he would have scored it before now. So I'm getting ahead of myself. But incredible. Uh, okay, so Timmy's having he's having a good think, and I think he should. It's changed a little bit. Hmm. He knows that he's so close to a win. He and both I think, sides in a strong position here. In I some think ways. he doesn't like the look of that Caprice remote as well. Uh, he's not in a he's not in a position no, to try I and mean, run it and try and flush the Caprice out. He can't afford it. But yeah, he's going to try and make sure Dave doesn't draw an agenda, which I think is fair. Uh, so you can, so you it's can just take an Eli. Punt. He might spend the four credits. He, spend, to, so he yeah. spends the clicks and two credits and two credits. A, yes, a he's got four. I see a Christian. That's interesting. It doesn't Dave. really matter to him. Dave, a long time siphon player, knows the value of that card in, yeah. in the current meta game. Yeah, um, it doesn't do a lot against medium. It does a little bit. So we're going to run HQC and Itchy. Okay, I think Timmy's just trying to make himself confident, and there's not an agenda that's going to go in next Caprice. Because obviously, if someone like an ABT goes in there, then he's going to really struggle. Yeah. And in fact, Dave Marcus did a drawing up to try and get one. Yeah, he does. So let's see. I mean, Dave, Dave's got a couple of things he can do here. If he finds some more ice, he could potentially try and ice the other remote. But you don't want to yeah. give away. If you ice that remote again... Yeah, that's it. So as far as Dave's concerned, or at least as far as he wants to give the impression, the game's in R&D. So he ices R&D. He installs Christium R&D. Yeah. Um, and Parasite, so now we're only strength of one assassin. So let's see. Gonna have to purge next turn. Obviously, he forgets. I think he might just let it go. Hmm. So let's see what we get. He's just gonna do some drawing. Yeah, three draws and a credit. Okay, so he's just trying to set up, uh, get some options, and maybe try and attack next turn. He so the parasite in theory will trash that assassin next turn, so he can pressure R and D. Um, Dave drawing, looking for a Dave drew, drew twice. Obviously not. He installed in the remote. He installed in the GFI. Is that is that a signal? It, of course, it's a signal. And I mean, he's... should he respond to it? Absolutely, he should. <laughs> oh god. Okay. All right. So he drew twice, optionally twice, and man mandatorily once. Um, and then installed us in uh, the remote. Now, obviously, that assassin should be long gone, as we've yeah. uh, been intimating for a little while. But it's not it's still there because so uh, what the players to forgot. Do you just take credits? Uh, on uh, he's running. So he's running on D on right one. Now. Yeah. Okay. He's running on D on uh, click one. An itchy. So there's an itchy on the outside. He's he can break it, but he's not wealthy. He's got no. seven credits. He can break it with three. Uh, he's got a whole turn worth of clicks, obviously. He needs to protect his programs here. The atman is so important at this situation, and as a pressure tool, the medium is critical here too. Yes, that's right. He's going to get a couple of accesses here, and he needs only one for the game. So let's yeah. see what he's going to get. Uh, okay, he's thinking. He's thinking. Uh, so behind the itchy, you can't quite see it, but we've got an Eli, and then we've got an Assassin as well, although obviously that shouldn't be there. Uh, Timmy's having a good think about if he wants to spend clicks or uh, money. He's doing the maths. In fact, there's not a lot of maths inside on here because he can spend clicks or credits. Uh, he can spend clicks on the itchy or credits. He can only spend clicks on the um, Eli. No, he can break it with the uh, Atman again. Strength form. Oh, strength form. Sorry. So it's, that's right. In fact, it's clicks and credits all the way down. It doesn't matter what he uses to break what. Well, you can't click uh, through the, arc, the, not the um, Assassin. assassin no, but... No. but the point is, it's going to cost him two clicks and... Um, some number of credits that I can't work out. Let's say two clicks on that one. Two, three. So it's gonna be three credits, five credits all the way in. He's basically doing NAPD maths, right? But the problem is, the problem is, we think that. that Dave's he's stolen the only NAPD that Dave has in the deck. Yeah. Um, so 
basically what happens is here is that he clicks through the itchy and allows the trace to fire um, and takes a tag and a brain damage. And then he will yeah, break the Eli's no, up. He's got no resources now. Yeah. But... Uh, it is the Corroda, which is possibly a shame. No, maybe not. And then take the no Eli for one. Right now that spends three have a hard end the run. He's going to access two. He accesses an Ash. It's a trash. Which that he trashes. Money? And he accesses a Turing. Now that's good. Turing, pretty relevant at this point. Yeah, because Turing can go over that GFI, for instance. Or it can go over R&D, which means that you're going to have to pay through all the other stuff because you're going to have to click through it. So Dave drew the Turing and he's going to install it over the GFI and advance the GFI. Oh my God, crowd goes wild. He trashed the issue. So yeah. we've got a two unrest piece of ice in this remote. He's got 11 credits. He can definitely res uh, the Turing, which is cheap. We don't know what that second piece of ice is. I mean, Dave, Dave knows that the itchy is What if it's an Eli? That itchy is completely irrelevant at this yeah. point because if Timmy knows that's an agenda... He doesn't matter. So He's just going to walk through lose it. Your, you lose your rig. What if we've got a Turing into an Eli situation? That'd be pretty strong, right? It would be very... Uh, very we've got strong. an Atman at four, but yeah, okay. We'll see. Um, well, you you need a hard end... Of, like, we discussed about end the run or versus Maybe it's double Turing. You never know. Double, double Turing, double Turing would be... Strong, would be yeah. That's game winning right there. It is. Okay, so um, the Assassin does finally go away a click late. Uh, turn late, so well, double cheering wouldn't be game. It uh, would be game because he'd get money off the eve, right? So I should mention also at this point the time has been called. It doesn't really matter, but it means that Timmy will get one more turn and then Dave will get one full turn, which is enough to win. Which is enough to win anyway. Yeah. So uh, it's going to come down to this turn regardless. Which is good. So, so let's see now an absolute nail by for the right to play uh, Dan Dovgenia in the final. So let's see. So Timmy, he's having Timmy a good think. It's going to run. R R uh, he no, he doesn't. He uh, because he forgot to access yeah. last time. He just asks. It's Christian. Dave's not going to have a problem. With yeah, that. neither side care. <laughs> it's only Dave's there in case of probably not going to res it. At no, this point. it's just there in case of makers or something. I guess or to I don't know. I dissuade so some. If you res it earlier, would it stop the medium occurring counters? It would. Right? If he'd resed it, uh, it before he accessed. So it would have stopped. Oh, I don't remember which way around it works. It stops one of the abilities, but not the other. So it. No, so you, you get the number you get the number of accesses that you have counters, but I think it doesn't generate you don't any gain more a counter. counters. I think yeah, that's right. I think that's no, point. I think it does though, because I think there's there's a whole may must thing, and because it's not an optional thing that gets. I oh, I'd have to check. I'd have to check. I don't it's remember my ruling. Yeah, I think, but I think at any rate, it, it doesn't make it doesn't make a huge effect. It's this game. Da uh, Dave didn't res it. You you res it for a maker's eye, I think, or indexing or some crazy thing like that. But I think so. You you get counters on a medium for a successful run, and the Chrissian makes it a not a successful or an unsuccessful run. Uh, that's true. Yes, um, but yes you, you're you right. I think to, that's how it works. You have to get yes. the extra accesses from the medium. Classes. I think that I think you're right. Well, I think that's how it works. I think right. that's how it works. Yeah, right. so I think that's uh, that is the way yeah, it works. I think you're quite right. Okay, so uh, Timmy having a good think about this turn, as and well he should. There's a lot Dave, on it. Dave giving it a head shake. You know, Dave like what's uh, going rolling on. his eyes yeah. like a diva. Oh, that's all right. He knows it's on R&D anyway. They both do. He's just got to decide how he's going to get in. So he checks archives on one, which is quite interesting. There's nothing there. Um, interesting. It, not a bad shout if there's something hiding there. But Well, I mean, I, th I wonder whether Timmy's been thrown a little bit by the fact that Dave hid the agenda. In and he's been there for the whole the time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, He's going to run R&D on two. Okay, so he's not even considering running the remote. I'm sorry, no. He runs archives on one, and there's nothing there. And he's going to run R&D on two. So we're going to see the itchy. He's not going to bother clicking anything, so he's going so to lose the medium. He's keeping the, no, he's keeping the four credits. He's going to keep the four credits in case he's an NPD, which is crazy to me, but... So the Atman and the... It's, see, now it makes sense in light of the medium ruling because he would only access two cards... Because uh, and the crowd and goes accesses, wild as the access is the access an ABT, an ABT for the game and the GFI was on the table. So uh, David in absolute anguish, but um, and the next ones were a <laughs> and he would have got another one anyway. Yeah. Um, so um, Timmy wouldn't have got in a second time. He spent his clicks on the yeah. Eli and uh, an incredible into an incredible hell game. of a game. Yeah, it's an one incredible of the best game. games in it. Runner, I've ever it was seen. very good. Yeah. Um, oof, roller. It was a roller coaster the first time I watched it. I know. I know. Again, yeah. I know. Okay, so. Um, Dave That's exactly what we want for a kind upset, of world, a world semi-final. An absolute nail biter. Right. Yeah, like a game where the bluffing element of the of the game of Netrunner and the hidden information aspect really came to the fore. Yeah, it did. Um, so, uh, I mean, so Dave used Architect. He saw five cards and he saw two agendas. He wasn't in a position when they came out, but because he'd he'd already kind of built up this uh, this kind of irrelevance of the server by he kept yeah, installing things in it. Of irrelevance, yeah, he yeah. kept installing things in it that were that didn't matter, ashes and like um Adonis and things that could just be trashed and it didn't and, matter. And Timmy got tired of checking through That's it. it and, and Timmy had the solution. Yeah. He got the solution and then you know, Dave just said, Well I'll just keep installing there and it, it worked. The the 
he got to a point where he installed it when Timmy was probably too poor in terms of time and, and money yes. to get in. Yes. Um, and then he left it. And once which, it had been there for yeah, two turns, then it, it wasn't relevant Timmy, anymore. Timmy didn't think right? of it again. You know, you've got yeah. other things to worry about. You That's need it. to you need to consolidate your board, build your money back up, think yeah. about R and D access at HQ. And Dave had the best the best distraction in the world, which was a second scoring remote with an actual agenda in it. Well, yes, it did. Yes. Absolutely. And um and he replaced the itchy. Eventually, the, the remote did become relevant. Uh, I'd, I'd love to know what those two ice were. At least one of them was Turing. I wouldn't be surprised yeah, if it was two. I think two. they might have been two Turing. I can't think what else would be so secure that Dave would just go for it like that. But yeah. Well, it was going towards time, and he knew he'd take a time loss anyway. That's so. true. Yes, that is true. So, um, and then... Uh, they lost on R&D. The R&D access the top card. is so unfortunate. Top card was the agenda. Yeah, I know. Um, but... Um, we should definitely so congratulations to Timmy. Yes, well done, Timmy. Who went on to play and uh, in lose, another lose to excellent game actually, in the, the final. final. Yeah, it looked like it was not going to be a good game, but it then it really was. didn't. And then it, uh, Timmy clawed it back. And he, we were he lost. we were we were Timmy. We, we were all rooting for you. We were on okay. the Timmy hype train in that we game. Certainly, yeah. <laughs> we certainly weren't on the DLR That's mill train. Let's <laughs> yeah. put it that way. So uh, so yeah, Timmy progressed to play Dan in the final, but he did lose uh, to um, Dan Dargenio's uh, DLR mill Valencia. Yeah. Um, but we can definitely say congratulations to Dave, who got third. He played very well all day. Dave, and... Dave is a pillar of the UK Netrunner community. And... <laughs> it's a p- pillar, you said. Yeah. Pillar. <laughs> yes. What did you think I said, Johnny? No, something else. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's a pillar of the UK community, yes. Uh, and... He does a lot for, for the UK um, Netrunner scene, and it's really, really great for us to see him doing so well in, in effectively back-to-back uh, worlds. Yeah, and all of, all of the worlds, all the guys who travelled to the world, there was a huge team that went, yeah. and four made the... Uh, well, well, it's basically kind of four or five. I'm four, not sure where Alan Noonan four of Four of with, Team but, UK, yeah. but um, obviously Alan from Ireland as well could easily be counted in that as, as a fifth. Oh, he, he finished in the top six in the UK Nationals, so he did, yeah. as far yeah, as I'm did. concerned, he's a kind of UK-type player. Yeah, but Laurie won the Greek Nationals. It doesn't make him Greek, does it? <laughs> uh, well, it just, it just makes him a, a vile raider of prizes, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, there were a few people who made the cut, and obviously a lot of them did well. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to Dave, who was highest ranked on the day of the of the Brits. Um, and number three, I think Tim Fowler came 5-6. Tim, Tim Fowler was, yeah, he's something fi- like that. He's fifth or sixth. And then... Um, Gary, Gary B made the cut. And um, Zach. Was Zach, that? Yeah, Zach, they both made the cut and the got, they, I think they got a win or two between them they, they got a couple of wins and it's the um, other guys that didn't didn't make the top 16 but also finished with strong results like uh, yeah. Chris um, Nemmermeyer yeah and Alex uh, White was a win Alex White, a win yeah. from the cut as well yeah yeah quite quite the showing um, and for that game quite the showing uh, I was I was proud that we got a British player on on screen for the world to see I, and I, he I, represented the UK very well just, I thought I'm just proud that that game was so good it shows all the best the best parts of kind of Netrunner and, yeah. and side games. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Um, ah, well, anyway, enough hyperbole. Yeah. So, um, we hope you enjoyed this very special Christmas Day uh, it's a broadcast. To yeah. commentate on that game. <laughs> um, so, you should go back to your Turkey or Queen's Speech, wherever is. Yeah, very, you have. very Merry Christmas, yeah. guys, and I hope you enjoy that piece of Netrunner history. <laughs> As my present to you. So, uh, yes, I will very quickly mention that uh, if you want to see any more of our videos, you can do so at the website, near Red and Grid at Credit UK. You can find us on Twitter and on Facebook as well. And if you would like to, you are most welcome to contribute uh, in this season of giving to uh, our Patreon page to help support uh, and improve the videos. Thank you, James, for helping me out and oh, comment on the video. Me, and thank you for watching. Happy Christmas, and we'll see you again.